Master Cell here, leader of the Master Knights of the Round Table, Company One. I'm back. Today is the 10 day anniversary on the new channel. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. We have been on new channel in 2021 for 10 days. I've always survived longer than my second channel, Master Cell, Master Cell, back six years ago. <clears throat> Real talk, this anime right here was recommended by Alejandro, John Joy, good friend of mine I met on the internet. Basically, he was on there talking about the animation for this thing was dope. And he said, go ahead and hit that thing up. It was a skateboard anime. I remember seeing the skateboard anime when I did the impressions video. I remember talking about it briefly. See, I was going to check it out. It kind of went on the radar because this thing came out, I think, two days ago. So I'm actually kind of late to this, but whatever. Also, at the same time, I was just watching X Arm. And that won't be a video for that unless you guys want to see me rant. Escaped it and finished it. Yes. Shit was dope. First episode was good. I appreciate it. Because, first of all, right, I don't really dive into skateboarding animes. I really don't really dive into sports animes as well, if you guys noticed. Doesn't really happen a lot for me. But this one. I keep pointing over here because I got the screen for Funimation right there, so yeah. This, Skate the Infinity. First and foremost, just throwing some history out there. Of course, I've seen Rocket Power. And I tried to skate when I was in my younger days. I'm talking about younger days, I mean real younger days. And I had a scooter. I was gangster on that scooter. That's saying I was indulged in skateboarding culture, but I always had a feel for it. I always liked it. Plus, I kind of rewatched Rocket Power with my brothers a year or so ago. So, yeah. When this thing came on, it was kind of just blowing back into my mind. Like, not really the French breath of fresh air, as I've been saying about other shows, just like, uh, damn near nostalgia, I would say. Already connected me to it. Now, calling out the animation. The animation is great. You know, remember when I was talking about some of the newer animes this year, where I, said, where I said, like, the normal, typical animation that we used to be stuck on is starting to transition into more high quality now? And as the years progress, especially in 2020, this is that type of show. Chris is hate. Now, context for the show itself. First of all, main character is straight out of goddamn Digimon. Hey, Ricky. Ricky. R-E-K-I. That dude, you know, charismatic dude. He goes into the episode and starts talking about what people want in life and why everybody's saying this and stuff like that. It's kind of the argument like, you know, people want to have a lot of money. People want to pick up all the shakes. And the shakes in this show is fine as hell. They are. I know that big buff clown face dude ain't hanging out with no goddamn. But anyways, if people want a lot of money, people want a lot of women, people want a lot of power, that kind of thing. And he said he did none of that stuff really matters to him. First of all, you're 17 in high school, so what the fuck? None of that matters to him because he just loves to skateboard. And that kind of, you know, the whole argument about one of your, your biggest hobbies becoming your life or your passion or what you want to pursue in life, me doing music. I can kind of relate to that, even though I need money. His ambition is already set. You know what kind of character he is, you know his outlook on life, and yeah. Based on that, you kind of already know where low key this direction is going in. But then it's the wild card with the co main character, Langa. Co main is transfer student from Canada. That's the only description he gave us. He was just right there from that damn t shirt. My name is Langa. Is that all? I'm from Canada. Is that all? Is that not enough? Tell y'all shit. Look at that t shirt like. The fuck else I need to say? This is my name. That's where I'm from. Go through the damn series. Of course, Langer finds himself with Ricky. And it's like, Ricky, I don't know his name. That's the thing, right? Of course, they kind of clash in the beginning. He tries to get he tries to get on the skateboard. Then it works for him. I just got to point this out. I get in the beginning of the series that he got cheated when he faced that clown face bastard. Dude look like straight up kiss and joke got fused or some shit. But the concept of skateboarding in this show, to me, the act of it, low key is disrespectful as hell. The reason I say that is first of all, in the race that started this, started the freaking series off, they over there cheating and shit, blowing motherfuckers off and shit. First of all, oh, it's a big ass race with no rules apply. And outside of that, people is talking hella shit. First of all, that big clown face bastard talking all the bullshit. Homeboy brought his damn, brought the damn skateboard because you know he repairs and builds skateboard. Like I said, this is his fashion. And Ricky brought that skateboard to the other dude at the end of the episode. I know I'm jumping around right now. He was on that bullshit. He dropped, he, he, he brought him the wrong boy. He brought him the wrong boy. But who the hell repairs your skateboard and brings it to you for a competition? The first thing you do is slap it out, snatch it out of his hand, turn your back to him and go right back to the bitch you don't even know the name of. Mm, girl, you ready to see this? Mm, you see, they, 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 whatever, motherfucker. And then it turned out to be the wrong boy and you're gonna cuss him out. Motherfucker, fuck you. I didn't hear you before you even got the boy back. 
You hit me with that. Bullshit. And that brings me to the point I was talking about with the initial beat up with Ricky and Mango. When he fell off that skateboard, thought about here's some trash. No, but this ain't supposed to be Stan. Yes, it is. When he went on that skateboard and rolled the Mango, when he was still on the floor, right in his face, just to do a kick flip over him. Over him. Kick flip over Mango. Talk about that's how you do something on the skateboard. On God, I would have took that skateboard and went upside the head with it. What kind of mess is that? They would not be a serious. That was me. He would have to run like hell. What is kind of mess is that? You gotta hit the skateboard. I'm on the floor. Off of your skateboard now. I'm on the floor. You gotta pick it up and roll it right by my face. Jump over me. Talk about that's how you do it. Put me so far up his ass. It would not be a skate in infinity. That was me. That's what I'm talking about. Like this, brother. I don't know. That's the tone I got from the show. I'm not saying that to bring down the show. I'm not saying that to disrespect the show itself. I'm just saying the art of skateboarding that used in this show is used to expose people and beat people's ass. When homeboy Ricky got his ass tore up in that, in that day, he broke his freaking wrist. The dude was injured the whole freaking rest of the episode. The dude's presumably still injured now. They're trying to hurt people. They're trying to hurt people's feelings. Take people's bitches. Take people's position, power, and all that shit in this show. That's what the show is. They are jockeying for position, jockeying for that spot. That's the tone I got. So like that being said, the main, the main freaking talking points is really the end of the episode with Langer. Once again, like we said in the beginning, we don't know jack about Langer. All we know is he's a transfer student from Canada. That's all he allowed us to know. But he was in there, motherfucker. Taping his damn feet to the damn skateboard. First of all, that was, shit was funny as hell, I would admit. Where they was looking at him because he was in the race with the guy. He would just stop right there. He had to freaking push himself with his hands. He taped his damn feet to the skateboard and you can't do the normal. I'm like, you stupid motherfucker. But then we realize the dude snowboards. And then suddenly it all makes sense. But first and foremost, when you snowboard, right? I have never snowboarded. When we snowboard, right? Where I watch Rock and Rock. You get your feet and you put it in those little cups, right? That holds your feet on the board. And you do this. Then you walk like that. There ain't no two feet kind of shit when it comes to that. If you walking with your two feet, your damn snowboard is in your arms. We was over here clowning, homeboy, because like I said, the tone of this show, disrespect. Clowning this guy straight up, talking hella shit about him when he was doing that shit. That's his name, what he's used to. That's not the sport he does. He doesn't do all that. What he do is when he get on that board and when that ramp is there, that's when it gets real. That's what he do and that's what he did. Exposed clown face bastard talking about or in the beginning he was playing around because the dude wasn't in behind him. That's your fault. So I thought this is your lane. I thought you established yourself as a tough flight ish. And you was cut slip. You better grill him. You better get him. Like I said, you guys talking hella shit throughout this whole show. You better get him. This clown face kiss look, bitch looking motherfucker. Oh, AI skater dude, cherry blossom that came out of nowhere. <laughs> like Rango, really? No, actually, no, not like Rango. Because everybody beside Rango knew who he was. I mean, I can met him beforehand, but it's kind of like, you know, everybody knew he was the A1. Is AI or A1? AI is artificial intelligence. That don't make sense. He's an A1 skater, higher platform. He knows all about the S. He told him to go ahead. So he went ahead. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he saw something in him in the beginning. I don't know main character shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. All things considered, there's actually a lot to take away from this episode. And it does a lot of justice when it comes to the sport of skating itself. And it makes it look clean as hell. The animation is clean as hell. Very crisp. And yeah. A lot of talking points, a lot of parts that are put together, moving parts to make more sense as the episode goes on. This is a great first episode. The pressure on this episode, first episode is off the chain, really. It just drove everything it needed to drive. It drove that shit straight home. Or skated straight home. Whatever you want to say. But yeah, man. I how you was right about this one. You got this one. Skate the infinity. So far, so good. You write something, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Like this video for me. I'll see y'all. Peace out. Subscribe, man. I don't know.